Hi everyone, this is Mrs Wallace. This is our curriculum video for Spring Term 2022 and this is for the pod. Enjoy! In the pod we are great readers and writers and there are certain slides that we look at every day um, to help us to remember what we've learnt. We use these flashback four slides in lots and lots of our lessons, literacy, numeracy, mostly we use them for curriculum in the afternoons. Now a flashback four question is something that we ask the children to gauge whether they've understood what we've taught before. Now the things that we've been learning about before were all about poetry. Now ask your child what is a kenning? Now the children know that a kenning is a two word phrase used in place of a one word noun. So for example, if we wanted to describe a tiger, we wouldn't say a tiger, we would use two words to describe the tiger. So stripey predator. We also ask questions from the unit previous. So the unit that we looked at before the poetry was a story and it was called Sister for Sale. Now the main theme of the Sister for Sale story was bullying and whether characters could make the right choices throughout the text. And the children had to write their own section of the story uh, right at the very end, all about the bullying section. This section is to recall previous learning from the last term or last year. Now, last year we did lots and lots of work on exclamation marks and ask your child, when do we use an exclamation mark in our work? Now, they should know that we use an exclamation mark when we've used um, good or bad surprise, excitement, delight, anger, fear, shock, and it's used to express a statement. So it's used so that it tells the reader how to express the sentence. So this term we're going to be carrying on with our learning from our Read Write Inc. Uh, we're going to be learning all about play scripts first. We've started to learn from the whole school scheme of learning, the Literacy and Language programme. It teaches the children a key learning objective for the year group they are learning from and a corresponding non-fiction text that follows on from their learning. They also learn key grammar and phonics for their year group too. So we'll learn how to make a story into a play script looking at the key features of the text. We will use a lot of drama and role play that we can use later for our persuasive writing task. So we're going to look at a cast list, we're going to look at setting the scene of the play, we're going to look at the actual scene, we're going to look at stage directions and we're going to look at characters. So when we finish the play script work, the non-fiction part is persuasive writing. We will record our persuasive text, encouraging people to go to a play at the theatre that we have created in previous lessons. So we're going to do an, a radio or a TV programme. We're going to record it and we'll probably be putting these online so that you can view them as well. So we will look at lots of different advertising and see what words they use to persuade the reader. So we're going to look at TV advertising, we're going to look at leaflets, newspapers, we're going to look at posters. In the pod we are fantastic mathematicians. At the start of each lesson, we answer flashback four questions on whiteboards. This helps the children to remember what they have learned from previous units and lessons. The children have a mini competition and each child that gets five out of five gets a dip in the box.
this term, the first thing we're going to be looking at is division and multiplication. Now, the first thing we look at when working with division is making equal and unequal groups. We start with small numbers and we work our way up to larger numbers. The first thing we have to learn is to share equally and we use lots and lots of practical equipment in the pod to help us to do this with smaller numbers and then we move on to much larger numbers. We then apply what we've learned to multiplication number sentences. So we move on from, like I said earlier, from smaller numbers to large numbers. We look at repeated addition. So 6 add 6 equals 12, and it is the same as 2 lots of 6 or 6 lots of 2. Ask the children what special word this means. They should tell you that it's commutative. The next unit is statistics. Now, statistics is all about graph work and um, tally charts and bar charts and things like that. In statistics, we'll start looking at pictograms first. So each picture is worth a certain value. We start with small numbers and we progress to larger digits. The second thing we have to learn is how to interpret a tally chart. Now, we use tally charts when we do our merits. Um, when we draw a tally chart, we count to four and each set of five is crossed to help us. It is easier to count in fives. We can then progress to making block charts and plotting the information accurately. We do lots of these too. We can do some of these in the afternoon for our curriculum work. We practice TT Rockstars frequently using our ICT skills. It would be really helpful if the children could access this from home as much as possible. All the children all know their TT Rockstars login. This term in science, we are going to be learning all about rocks and soils. These are the school's rocks and soils knowledge organisers. These go on the um, science boards for the children to access. There's lots and lots of information on these knowledge organisers. We've got magma is the name for molten rock. Fossils are found in one of the three different types of rock, which is it. Now, the children should know that. We did lots and lots of work last year on wren's nest and the fossils on the wren's nest. Ask your child what type of rock fossils are in. They should know. We'll be looking in detail at different types of rock and how rocks are formed. This is the other part of the knowledge organiser with lots more information on for the children. We'll also make our own soil. We'll make a mini composter. In our lessons, we look at our whole school schemas. Now, a schema is a hook for the children to hook information onto so that they can remember. We've just finished the curriculum focus on Romans and we looked at Roman foods and what was trendy at the time of ancient Rome and how ancient Roman people used to eat their foods. Another schema is fashion. So we tie in questions throughout the day about different trends and different fashions. Now, fashion can be producing fashion. It can be um, changes in fashion over time, seasonal changes, all these things. We've looked at fashion also in our Roman curriculum.
And our last schema that we look at is technology. And we look at famous inventions, we look at the way things are made, um, travel, how things are built. And we've looked at lots and lots of things that the Romans gave us that we can still use now. In our curriculum, lessons in the afternoons, we use lots and lots of flashback for slides. This is a slide all about the last previous unit that we worked on for science, which was all about light. How are shadows formed? Now, the children do know that when shadows are formed, an opaque object is placed in front of the light, the, the, the rays of the light, the rays of the sun. The new unit we're going to work on in our curriculum afternoons is going to be all about rocks and soils. Now, last year we looked at the Wren's Nest Nature Reserve and we looked at what types of rocks were formed on the Wren's Nest Reserve. Now, the children should know that it's sedimentary rocks that are formed and they're formed from broken down little bits of rocks and even the remains of plants and animals and they're set down in layers. The children should know this. Ask your child what a sedimentary rock is. So in science, we're going to start looking at rocks and soils. We will look at how various rocks are formed. We will handle, predict and test fairly different rocks to see how they are constructed. The children know how to do a fair test in science. Ask them. We will test rocks to see if they are permeable and impermeable. Ask your child what you think what they think it means. Remind them we put a drop of water onto the rock to test. Now permeable means water can pass through and impermeable means that water cannot pass through. There are certain types of rock that are listed here that are permeable and impermeable and the children will learn all about this this year. We are fantastic historians in the pod and this term we're going to be learning all about Anglo-Saxons and Vikings. These are our knowledge organisers that are displayed for the children to access. There are lots and lots and lots of information all about Anglo-Saxons and Vikings on these sheets. The knowledge organisers are set out in different ways. There's lots of tables, lots of pictures and lots of small bits of information for the children to access. So we'll follow on from our Romans work in history and look at the Anglo-Saxons and the Vikings. We will look at lots of maps showing how and where the different tribes invaded from and to. We will study everyday life in both Anglo-Saxon and Viking lives and compare them to nowadays from hunting, clothing and family life to laws, monarchs and kingdoms of the time. This term in our art, we're going to tie it in with our history and learn all about Anglo-Saxon and Viking artwork. We will be working with lots of different mediums this year in art and design and this year I'm very very keen on us using lots and lots of clay work. We will also be learning how to do some tapestry work. In personal, social and emotional development it supports children to learn to get on with others and make friends, understand and talk about feelings, learn about right and wrong, develop independence and ultimately feel good about themselves. In the pod we work really hard through emotions lessons and circle times looking at ways of dealing with our feelings in the best way that we possibly can. We have started to learn about friendships and citizenship with the whole school.com program. It explores ideas about safety in the community, key people to trust and various ways of coping in social situations. 
we have lots of discussions during these lessons, which opens up the group to working as a team, which is fantastic. If you need any more information from school, here are the contact information details.